Well, what Irish History Live uh, is, is uh, the equivalent of a, a museum coming to you. Uh, when you go to a museum, you get to see all the uh, wonderful artefacts that are there, but they're all inside in a case, and you're not allowed to touch them or go near them. With Irish History Lives, I come to you with uh, museum quality replicas of anything from uh, uh, Bronze Age swords to Second World War machine guns and bring it to your school or your museum or your library or your event and let the, the audience or the children handle them themselves. That way then they learn experientially. So for instance if you're studying the Stone Age I come to you with uh, flint, uh, stone axes, uh, fur, uh, uh, bone, horn, uh, uh, leather, all these things uh, and you take about an hour to teach the children all about the, the period itself. If you say go to the Middle Ages you might use some of the stuff that I have here like the, the armour, the chainmail, the swords, the axes, the spears, the longbows, the crossbows. And then if you go for more modern periods, then what comes uh, are the uh, some of this stuff as well, but mostly the uh, uh, guns of, of the period. So from the earlier matchlock muskets uh, to the uh, later flintlock muskets, then you get a round picture of gunfire in its infancy. As we go to study modern periods with the First and Second World War, uh, then you're talking about uh, uh, modern gunfire and you're talking about pistols, uh, rifles, machine guns and submachine guns. And with each of these uh, periods, the, the audience, uh, which are often children, uh, try on the helmets, put on the uniform and take on the persona of Adolf Hitler or Grace O'Malley or uh, Eamon de Valera or Michael Collins, uh, depending on who it is we're, we're studying it into. And so uh, by doing it yourself, you learn the history far better than, uh, than you, you can sometimes learn it out of a book or even in a museum. Well, that's the hope anyway. Something between 50 and 60 in the audience come to the show, uh, normally, as I said, about an hour, um, and in that show, every child uh, in the place will get to try out uh, one or two artefacts himself. Um, if we're looking at um, um, uh, Ireland of 100 years ago, well, they will get to look at some of the tools uh, and uh, household implements that people used uh, in making their normal f food and fare. Um, uh, and the child then gets to dress up as a 19th century child or a, uh, an early 20th century man. Or indeed, the young lady is very fond of dressing up as the ladies of the manor uh, uh, from the Middle Ages. And also the, the Viking is a very popular thing with the young lads. They want to be a warrior from old. So that would include wigs and beards and, and uh, a, a bit of fun and a bit of dressing up. And what it does is it taps into uh, that part of us uh, that we, we sometimes forget about, the, that we uh, love to hear stories and we love to dress up and we love to act out the, uh, the story ourselves. Then I began to get uh, inquiries about other periods that the children were studying. Um, can you do the Second World War? Can you do the First World War? Can you do uh, 1916? Can you do uh, the 1798 rebellions? And um, I would say, oh yeah, I can do that. And of course that meant me uh, hitting the books and studying. It also meant me sourcing uh, the replicas that I use in the show. Um, and uh, another aspect that uh, this flexibility brought with it was that if there's a bit of local history in your area, um, like I was doing shows down in Mayo, for instance, and they were very, very interested in Grace O'Malley, uh, the pirate queen of Ireland, and her uh, problems with Queen Elizabeth and Lord Bingham and so on. And I had much of the costume and some of the, uh, the weapons used in the period. And so with a small bit of work, I was able to get ready for that show. Also, uh, the scouts had me do a show about Baden-Powell, uh, the, the original uh, founder of the scout movement. 
And so I was able to look into his history and, and do a show about him. And so it went that I could do shows about uh, uh, just about any uh, historical period of history. Other um, people have asked me to do shows uh, about uh, their particular uh, historical building. Um, <laughs> the, the Roth House in Kilkenny, uh, Boyle uh, uh, Castle and so on. That I could, I could learn a little bit of the local history and encompass that into my my usual script and that way then not only did the children learn the general history but the particular history of their area and develop a, a kinship and a, a love of their own particular